Today, I am starting my very first travel journal. Um, a lot of you guys have been requesting that Lou and I make a podcast, and since it's just the two of us making all these videos and living in a van, we just don't have the bandwidth to do that, but we thought that these travel journal videos might be a really cool way to have a bit more long form chatty discussion while you also get to hang out, draw with me, journal with me, and yeah, get a different vantage point to look at our travels and for me to kind of reflect on them. Um, so maybe pause, get yourself in a cozy position, maybe grab a cup of tea because it's a bit of a longer video and you're just going to be hanging out with me as I get into this journal. So one of the things I realized as I was traveling with Lou through all these different places is it's kind of hard to distinguish all of my memories between each location. And yeah, we have these YouTube videos that help me do that, but I thought that it could be really fun to have like a physical space for me to reflect on the memories as they're happening so that I don't forget all the little details. So today, the first entry in this travel journal is gonna be all about our time in Barcelona. And as you can see here, I am in an art store. This is one that Lou found called Rima, I believe. And Lou convinced me to get this enormous sketchbook. I think that it was like, here I have the, little paper next to me. It is a 96 page sketchbook that is 225 by 315 millimeters. Like it is enormous and very intimidating, but he made a good point is that I normally take this little sketchbook out with me, like the one right here. Um, and that's so convenient and I can always have like a pen and my notebook with me, but I don't like having pressure on the ones, especially when I'm out and about in the city. It's like, to make that look like, I don't know, organized or beautiful, it's just too much pressure. I like to be able to like jot down random notes and yeah, oh gosh. In this very moment, oh, sorry, there's a car that's going by. But in this very moment, I misspelled Barcelona, which is super embarrassing because I've lived there before for like six months. But I think it was like we had been talking so much, like following so much about the sports. And in the sports magazines, they call it Barca, which is like the abbreviation for Barca and that has an A. I don't know. There's no justification for misspelling, but luckily this is an art journal or a travel journal, whatever. And that's made of collages. So later I can fix it when I realize. Uh, okay, back to this video. Um, here we are in the Picasso Museum and the Picasso Museum was actually one of the, my favorite museums I've ever been to. Um, it was really, the way it was set up was so wonderful. It started out when he was a young kid and moved through like the blue years and into like the, what he's more famous for, like the geometric shapes. But those paintings that just flashed on the screen were of when he was living in an apartment in Cannes. Um, and he had like a pigeon coop or something like that at the apartment and every day he would just paint that. And for some reason, like the colors in that and the wacky little pigeons, I just fell in love with. And so I decided to bring out my watercolors, which I had not painted in months, guys, like so long since I had done anything other than just draw with pen and my notebook. Um, but yeah, I wanted to recreate one of his paintings and yeah, I think it turned out really nice and it, it was so much fun and made me really excited to get back into painting. I don't know if I've ever like said on here before, but like my deep dream um, for the future is to become a full-time painter. Like it might seem weird because it's like we do creative stuff now and I absolutely love it, but the idea of just being like in this beautiful studio with tons of plants and lots of natural light and learning to paint with oils. Like I'm sure I've romanticized it in my head, but I really like that. And it's like away from screen time and just reflecting on nature and maybe even portraits, I don't know. But yeah, that's a future dream. Do you guys have any like crazy art dreams for the future? I'd love to hear them, leave them below. Um, Okay, so this entry in the journal, the first one, is all about Barcelona. Um, and Barcelona really, you can't think about the city without thinking of Gaudi. Um, this footage is all from the day that Lou and I spent exploring some of his most famous buildings and parks. And it was such a spectacular day. And the thing that I left 
really thinking about was his mosaics and all his tile work. It was just so fascinating and so intricate and I wanted to then transform that into something that I could remember it by. And so I took all of our expired old used Metro cards um, that we had been using to commute in from our van outside of the city into Barcelona and kind of cut them up and then put them through the middle of the journal as a kind of like mosaic that kind of split the entry in half diagonally. Um, and then later in the bottom, I also use just some clippings from the Nat Geo to make some flowers and things like that that also were inspired by his mosaics. But I'm really happy with how it turns out and yeah, at some point very soon is when I'm going to realize that I spelled Barcelona wrong. But that's okay. Here, oh, here is on the bottom where I'm gluing is a picture of the Sagrada Familia um, and that's his most famous work and I think kind of his most prized work I bet um, and I put that over some Catalan text kind of to remind me of when Lou and I used to go to Catalan class together when we were studying abroad here and yeah I really like how they both turned out with the Catalunya flag on the right and then Sagrada Familia below and Picasso. I don't know, I think it looks great. And here I am finally realizing my big mistake and covering it. And I actually really like how it turned out because I take these letters and then write Barcelona correctly with them. And it was really a great lesson I think to happen the first time I was making it because the beauty of a travel journal is that it doesn't need to be perfect. And if you do mess up, you can just kind of realize that you want to switch it up and cover it, paste paper over it, or I've seen a lot of people just put like sticky notes over it. And yeah, as you can see, I am very happy with how I was able to fix that mistake. And I think that is a good lesson for all of us because none of this stuff is permanent and it's really fun to not get overwhelmed by mistake and just keep moving forward. Um, here's Okay, I think the next part is when I start writing and thought it might be fun to read to you what I wrote. This is where it all began. The travel, the adventures, my love for Lou. To be back felt so strange yet beautiful all the same. We took time to visit many old memories and made space for a few new ones too. And yeah, I think it's really fun to take the time to reflect on things in a journal with writing and I hope to do it more often in the future. It's funny, one of the biggest memories I have of our time in Barcelona is actually just sitting at a bar with Lou, surrounded by tons of old men and the room filled with smoke, watching Barca games. It's something that we spent hours doing and I'm so happy that we were able to go back in person and watch Messi play one more time. It's weird how like things change, but then, I don't know, hearing the Camp Nou song just brought back all these memories. And then now, like, we also went to this new place. This is the Tibidabo Amusement Park, which Lou and I were shocked. We like could not believe, how did we not come here? Like this park is, I think it was over a hundred years old and we didn't even consider coming. I don't even know if I knew about it while we lived here, um, but it was such a treat to come up. It was kind of like a, cold, rainy, quiet morning. And it meant that there was very few people at the park and it was definitely the first amusement park I've ever been to that was so peaceful. Like the views were incredible. And yeah, it was a really special part of our trip. So the left part of the spread is like the receipt from Tibi Dabo. I went on the Ferris wheel and Lou and I went on, oh no, take that back. I went on the carousel and Lou and I went on the Ferris wheel. But yeah, it's fun to kind of transform those memories. Like I really liked the lights that we saw when we were up at Tibi Dabo. So I decided to make this little like collage version of outdoor lights and string those through the top left corner as a way to kind of connect the whole piece together. And I think that's actually the last thing that I did for this entry. And I love, really love how it turned out. I mean, it's definitely a first go of it, but I started watercolor again. I got to be creative and have some time on my own to just think about the fact that we came back to Barcelona and how many memories we're getting to make and how fortunate we are to be living in this van. And 
yeah, I really hope that you liked this video and this voiceover too. Um, I was nervous to record it, but so here's some other videos and maybe even hit that subscribe button. <laughs> we love you and are so happy to have you here with us. Cool. Great job. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> are you nervous? Yeah. You did such a good job. Yeah. Such a good job.